Leo should be terrified, the nurse is on fire. Simon should be terrified, the nurse is on fire. Government should be terrified, the nurse is on fire. Ha! <laughs> 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 I'd be terrified if I was here. Yeah, yeah, he should be terrified to come into the hospital because yeah. it's, not like, right. it's not fair. The way he's treating nurses in this country. I mean, he's sitting there with a nice hefty pocket himself. What about us? Right. Nurses continue to strike with a series of 24-hour work stoppages to get better working conditions. Tens of thousands of outpatients are said to be affected. I mean, um, when there's only two staff nurses in the theatre for the day, that means nobody gets a chance to go to the toilet or to have lunch. You need some, another nurse to come in and relieve you. You're both stuck there for the day and, and that's the reality of it. Minister for Finance and Expenditure Pascal Donoghue believes that if nurses received pay restoration, it would lead to more union striking. Okay, well, for example, you could have a financial transactions tax just of 0.1%, something actually the EU doesn't even oppose, you know, and that would bring in half a billion. You'd pay nurses for a year. There's also, they found half a billion in corporation tax they didn't know they had. Three people in this country have 29 billion in wealth. The idea that we don't have money, I mean, they're bragging about how brilliant the economy is doing, and then they're saying you can't pay nurses. However, Fine Gael do not maintain that they have 300 million euro in their fiscal budget to make this happen. Alison Clare, DCTV News.